We are asked to factor each expression. Remember, the first step in factoring is always to factor out the greatest common factor. The first expression is 5z squared plus 40z plus 80. The greatest common factor among these three terms is 5, and therefore the first step is to factor out 5. If it's helpful, we can write 5z squared as 5 times z squared, because 40 is equal to 5 times 8, we can write 40z as 5 times 8z, plus 80 is equal to 5 times 16. So we have plus 5 times 16. In this form, we can see the greatest common factor of 5. And we can also see what's left after we factor out 5 from each term. So if we factor out 5, we're left with z squared plus 8z plus 16. And now we see if we can factor the trinomial inside the parentheses. If it does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. So if it does factor, we'll have 5 and then times two binomials. Looking at the trinomial inside the parentheses, because the first term is z squared, and the factors of z squared are z and z, we place a z in the first position of the first binomial and a z in the first position of the second binomial. And now because a leading coefficient of the trinomial inside the parentheses here is one, in order to factor the trinomial, we need to find the factors of positive 16 that add to positive eight. So we need to find the factors of 16, the constant term, that add to the coefficient of z, which is positive eight. And this one's pretty straightforward. Four times four is equal to 16, and four plus four is equal to eight. So positive four is the second term in each of these two binomials. So one binomial factor is z plus four, and the second binomial factor is also z plus four. Notice how these two binomial factors are the same. So the final factored form is five times the quantity z plus four raised to the second power squared. This is the factored form of the given trinomial. Next we have two w to the third plus 44 w squared plus 242 w. Again, the first step is to factor out the greatest common factor, which in this case is two w. And again, let's write each term as a product. Two w cubed is equal to two w times w squared plus 44 w squared is equal to two w times 22w plus 242w is equal to 2w times 121. Writing it this way can be helpful because now we can see if we factor out 2w from each term, we can see what factor remains. So if we factor out the greatest common factor of 2w, we're left with w squared plus 22w plus 121. And now we try to factor the trinomial inside the parentheses. Once again, if it does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors because the first term inside the parentheses is w squared and the factors of w squared are w and w. We place a w in the first position here and the first position in the second binomial. The second terms in the binomial factors will be the factors of 121 that add to 22. 121 is a perfect square. 121 is equal to 11 times 11. And 11 plus 11 is equal to 22, the coefficient of w. And therefore, one binomial factor is w plus 11, and so is the other. And once again, notice how the two binomial factors are the same. And therefore, we can write the final factored form as 2w times the quantity w plus 11 squared. I hope you found this helpful.